Hey guys, um, so we have 2016 Hyundai Elantra um, customer complaint check engine light. So let's see what's our problem. We go for full code searching. Let's just put transmission to. So we have a P0442 small leak and it's active. So let me just see. So you can, what we can see is, let's see if there's a available freeze frame. Let's check that. And usually, if I have this kind of um, code I usually check if I have commands for my canister closed valve but usually if it's a canister closed valve problem let's say it's stuck open or something like that I'm gonna have a large leak but let's just double check all our components in the EVAP system and let's see what happened and then after that I do a smoke test to see if there's really a leak or what we can do too is if we can if you, if your scan tool has a feature of evap test so we can do that just to confirm that it has that code so let me just clear this I'm gonna go here. So, EBAP leakage test. Click down. Engine idle. So, there's all the enable condition. And let's hit OK. That's okay. So we'll just wait. I don't know if you heard that. There was a, a clicking sound from the back of my um, on the rear seats. That's my canister closed valve closing because that's normally open, so it's closing now. So it's sealing the the system. So as we can see here, it has one mm leak. So now my next procedure is I'm going to do a smoke test and look for a smoke. So now these are our smoke machine. So make sure we have smoke there. And I just removed one of the vapor line. I don't know. Oh. As you can see that that's attached to the purge valve here. So I'm gonna hook that up and clamp the hose on the canister closed valve so that it's gonna be sealed. So let me do that. Okay. So I just wanna make sure that it's going through all the way to the gas cap so let me open the gas cap so at least all the smoke is coming out from here now let's lift up the car and let me clamp that hose so as you can see I clamp that one hose here it's going to your um, vent pipe going to your filler neck so now this is sealed now so what we were checking right now is if we can see visible smoke from the vapor line where's the thing from vapor line here 
until our tank so we inspect that maybe you have you will have a clue if if you see any rust build up because especially the mounting bolts or anything like that so we'll check and here this is our charcoal canister as you can see we have some smoke coming out from there and we got lucky that it's right away there so as you can see that bolt there it's all rusted so and also here you can see the smoke coming out from there for sure it's not from my other bolt so definitely uh, we have we have a charcoal canister leaking well how come this one is oh it's not leaking properly and I can see also here that on our fitting on this line here that it's leaking from here too so let's remove the this charcoal canister and inspect further so here's our charcoal canister and where our mounting screws attach as you, can, oh, it's too bright. as you can see here see that whole crack on the other side it's cracked there too so let's crack so definitely this shark canister is not good and it's leaking so let's replace that and we test our smoke test and if see let's see if it's still leaking so this is our new part and the new part let's compare it let's see that's clean they all just have the same mounting location pipe it's pipe so let me go and install this and let's try again so as you can see this is our new charcoal canister and so far we don't have any leak so I think that's good and let's put everything back together and check our, our um, EVA pick test if it pass or he can drive it for two driving cycle to ready the evap system so, so now we're gonna try to do the evap test and see if it passes so i guess we just got lucky that we found the smoke right away but sometimes if you can't see the smoke underneath like from the charcoal canister maybe from the fuel tank your next step is to check where the fuel pump um, gasket is because sometimes because of those retainer for the fuel pump assembly it can get corroded and you get some problem from there so now let's see uh, if you can if it passes the test so test completed no leak detected well, that's good and also what we can do is if we, we will go to our obd2 the global obd and we're gonna go, go check our I'm 
go to mode 6 and see our EVAP system there. So now I'm gonna go to mm, monitor test results and let's look for there's one for EVAP monitor for cap off. Let's check that. says pass that's good and a point zero four leak that says pass and let's check our other one point zero two that's a small leak it says pass that's good purge flow say pass that's good so that's it guys that's that's definitely fix uh, it's a p0442 give up small leak so um, thank you for watching and see you next time